To create a new user and define the access levels, first right click within System Users and choose Add. Enter the login name. The password. The full name. their email address, which will be used as the from address for any automatic reports. The next step will be to define the access group and the data access we assign to the user. To do this, either select from the drop-down menu or click Define to create a new group. To create a new access group, click Add. Give the access group a name, if data access has already been set up then you can choose from the drop down list. The first tab allows you to select the reports the user will be able to see and use. The functional access tab allows the system administrator to restrict the user's access to the Tiger system. For this example, we will allow our user to be able to change their password, to calculate call costs, see their printer setter, access the reporting screen, schedule automatic reports to run, and view the directory definition window. Once you're happy with your selections, click OK. Next, select Define for the data access. Give the new data access a name. Select the views you wish the user to be able to see. For this example, we only want our user to be able to see the training department. In the Data Access tab, you can see all departments are currently able to be fully controlled. By changing them all to hidden, and then only selecting the relevant department and making it viewable, the system administrator has restricted the access. Once you're happy with all the selections, click OK. You'll be asked to re-enter the password. Click OK, and then save changes. By reviewing the Data Access tab and the Access Group tab, you can see the two accounts that we've set up. And returning to System Users, we can see the Tiger Test account has been created successfully. To add multiple users, right click within the System Users window, choose Add Multiple Users, enter in a list of the usernames. A generic password must be used for all accounts, and also a generic email. Select the Access Group and the Data Access Group and click OK. Re-enter the password, 
and click OK. Click Save to ensure you save all the changes made. 